Hey, what's happening, people? Today, we're going to take a look at these two flashes, the Profoto A2 and the Explorer 100. We're going to look at the specs on these flashes. We're going to uh, take some uh, pictures. We're going to see how they work in uh, TTL because uh, uh, both are off camera flash and we'll do some uh, high speed sync. I own both flashes and I don't want to get rid of them so I, I just gonna tell you what uh, each flash does and uh, at the end of this video you can make up your mind to get which one uh, on my fit your needs. The Explorer 100 it is uh, the smaller strobe in the Gorax family. The great thing about uh, this flash is uh, it shares the same uh, magnetic modifiers with the V1 and AD200 or whatever, like you buy the this uh, magnetic modifiers are gonna fit all three flashes, and it's good because you have uh, if you are buying in the Godax ecosystem, you know you can uh, have uh, the modifiers working on all three uh, strobes. Uh, the battery is really good. It gives you like 360 uh, full flashes uh, at uh, full power and uh, recycles like in 1.5 seconds. The good thing is the it shares the same battery as the V1, and um, you can swap them if you have the the V1 too, you know. And of course, you're gonna have the V1 uh, before you you get this one. Uh, you can swap the batteries. Uh, it really works really great. Uh, great. The Gonax uh, ecosystem is just getting uh, uh, bigger and bigger, you know, from the LED lights to strobes to light modifiers, everything is just like, you know, and many third parties uh, use the same bones uh, amount uh, for the sub boxes. When you get, you know, on a, on a Godax, it's you have easy access for a very affordable product. When you used uh, the S2 bracket with this flash, uh, you can, um, install all kind of like light shaping tool from octa boxes, saw boxes uh, with this flash and you can modify the light the way you want. I really like this flash, I have it for many many years right now, I think when, I don't know even when it came out. Everybody's complained that it has uh, some green cast and if you look at the Fresnel lens, you can see that it's not pure white, it has some cast. People complain that because you know you can use it for uh, critical work, I don't think this is meant to be uh, used on critical work. And anyway, when you use some, uh, like if you need to, to keep uh, color accuracy between uh, like uh, all your flashes, it's very hard if they are not the same brand and the same uh, output. And of course you have to keep them with the same output and you just modify if you need to cut the power down, you just have to add diffusion layers. So, you know, either because when you adjust the flash up and down, the color uh, temperature in the flash changes. So like we don't even want to go through that route, but everybody's complaining it has a little green cast. Yes, it has a little green cast on it. I think personally it's very easy to correct and I don't have any problem uh, using it and uh, I'll show a couple of uh, uh, portraits taken with bare flash. I only use the dome diffuser so in all these pictures you're going to see always the dome diffuser. I don't like the, to use it just with the Fresnel because uh, I will never use it this way so why should I take a picture like that? I don't have to do any uh, exposure compensation on TTL which is great and it nails the exposure spot on. Uh, when you go on a high uh, speed sync, you have to do some uh, uh, exporter compensation. I think it's like one step down and uh, uh, it's good all the way to 8,000 of a second. We still the same ones. When it come to chats, we don't take none. Bad man, Jamaica. Trinity Tang, global sensation. Mob until the day come, yeah, till the day come. Red, white, black flag, body gon' shake some. Green, yellow, black flag, rude gal, shake some. We don't want no drama in this, so don't make none. Mob until the day come, yeah, till the day come. And the day came, still thumbing through the night, chance of light rain. I guess I really gotta show you about this Trinity Kang. I guess this is how it is when you from the island, man. So I took a flight to Tobago, FOG down. Man's on the ends, Londonville to the sea town. Remo with a ski man, a beamer with the T down. And she wanna know me, tell me, baby, what you need now? A little buddy, bubble up your pot, mix the curry. Going to the Pro Photo. Pro Photo 
uh, uh, A2, I, uh, I really like this flush. I like the, the shape. I mean, the quality of the materials, you know, at least on the outside, looks good. There, it scratches easier. This is like a rubberized stuff, and I can already see marks, even like I try to protect it as much as I can. And uh, but the LCD in the back is super sharp, you know, big uh, numbers. You, it's easy to, to read out easy to control, uh, I think it's good, it, has, uh, it works with all the click modifiers. And uh, what I like uh, about uh, Profoto, you know, they have everything, all the modifiers in the world, they come organized in little pouches, so it's easier to take care of uh, everything and carry with you. And also it shares the same modifiers uh, as the um, Profoto A10. And, uh, Having them both together, it's a, a good little setup um, to have it on the go. Now, the biggest hype about this flash, you know, it works for me and I, I have it and I'll keep it. Everybody talks, you know, uh, on the internet, it's like the greatest uh, uh, little mini strobe ever. It's just a very bare flash. It doesn't have too many commands. The Godox 100 has a lot more feature than this one. This one is just, you know, you turn it on, you dial it up and down, you can change the, the channel, but doesn't help you with anything, and that's it. It's, I'm shooting mostly in manual, so I turn it on, and it's a manual flash for me. It just doesn't do anything else. You cannot uh, modify it, you know, like the, the, the zoom in the head, or nothing else, it's just, very bare, you know, so don't expect this flash will do like wonders. It's just a small little uh, uh, strobe light. And I think if you get this one, mostly uh, you're gonna use it in manual mode, so it's nothing special about it. And uh, for the price difference, you expect to have a little bit more feature or uh, at least the same features the uh, Godax has, but it doesn't. Regardless, I still like the flash. I'm gonna keep it because I uh, I really uh, like the uh, light output, what it throws out. Even when I compare it with the Profoto A10, it has less output than the A10 and it has like two stop less output than the uh, Explorer 100. I, most of the times I don't need too much power on my flashes. I just need a little pop of light, you know, to get some spark in the eyes, you know, and soften the shadows. So it does, uh, uh, whatever I wanted from it. Can I justify the prices? No. Using the Profoto A2 and TTL at a high speed sync, um, the flash uh, overexposed the image and I have to dial it down like uh, seven uh, tenths of a stop. That is very normal for an uh, off camera flash. It's not the fault of the flash. It's, you know, it uh, is a combination between the camera and how it communicates with the flash. So. Uh, I, it's not a big deal, it's very normal. Uh, I dial it down and uh, it nails the exposure uh, spot on. It sinks uh, all the way to 8,000 of a second. Uh, by, you know, a speed sync, my, in my camera is 200 uh, of a second to uh, 1,000 of a second. I have to, uh, it overexpose a little bit, so I have to dial it down. Uh, after uh, 1,000 all the way to 8,000, uh, slowly it uh, underexposed the image, so I have to uh, do uh, some exposure compensation and uh, I have to on the plus side. Bubble up your pot, mix the curry, go dummy. Whole fam, ice on no funny. From the veil to the veil, shout out Teddy, that's the tuggy stuff. the same ones. When it come to chats, we don't take none. Bad man, Jamaica. Trini Tang, global sensation. Mob until the day come, yeah, till the day come. Red, white, black flag, body gon' shake some. Green, yellow, black flag, rule, gal, shake some. We don't want no drama in this, so don't make none. Mob until the day come, yeah, until the day come. Say they want smoke when we see them, they don't say none. Yeah, they all talk. All them stories they be made up Really putting work, all them nights we done stayed up Really from the islands, whole fan from Jamaica Yard man style when my come true Cooling with my pops and my uncle Johnson, stamp pipe, jungle Shout out to my cousin, yeah, one, two, yeah Never force a vibe, let it come to you Ice tal man, sell a tofu Really in the trenches, eating so full Certain places you can't go to Bear gun, man, and now you're rare you When it come to chats, we don't Looking at the dome diffuser on these flashes, as you can see, on the um, Godox, it's more like a half a sphere. On the Profoto, it's more like a quarter sphere. 
This helps the Godox light to spread the light a little bit better, to open up the shadows a little bit more. This one is more narrow and focused, but uh, I, I like it either way, you know, I, I know exactly what to expect for this light, so I, for me it doesn't make any difference. Things what I like on uh, the, the AD100, and I wish the Profoto A2 will have, uh, they are, I wish the Profoto would have a, a zoomable head, like the, uh, the 100, and also to have an optical slave built in the same as a 100. And uh, because these two kind of like, it helps me a lot. I can use it, uh, the 100 with any different lighting setup because with Optical Slave, I can trigger it. It's not the same with the uh, uh, Profoto A2 and I ha you have to use it only on uh, with the Profoto lights and with the um, remote control. And uh, surprisingly, you know, for uh, some of you, instead of buying another Profoto A2, I'm using my AD100, you know, when it's one I have to, like the third light, fourth light, with optical slave in pro photo setups because they do work. Having the optical uh, slave built in uh, is very easy to trigger the um, Godox 100 with uh, my pro photo flash. And uh, I'm using it many times as my background light, you know, a separation light because I didn't want to spend more money on another uh, Profoto A2 flash. There are some small, you know, overlapping uh, features on this uh, flash in both systems. So, you know, I can use the, all the click uh, attachments uh, on uh, Godax flashes, which are great, is why I'm more invested with the uh, magnetic attachment on Profoto, because I can use them on both systems. You know, the same with the Godax, don't, don't fit the Profoto. And uh, also having the possibility to trigger some of these lights with, uh, with Optical Slave, you know, with my Profoto, I can use them on my Profoto setups. If money is not an object, these lights suits, you know, different styles. You know, like if you like more, you know, uh, candid, you know, nostalgic and uh, a very, you know, like a little bit uh, a vintage look, Godax, you know, it, it works great if you like more crisp more modern more you know a uh, fashion style i think for me pro photo goes better out but depends of on the style of shooting and you got to make your choices you know on what you want to use the lights for you have to use your gear for advantage and to fulfill your artistic visions i have an 85 or 1.2 50 1.2 you, I don't shoot everything at wide open, you know, because that will be boring. You have to have some variation and shoot. And of course, you gotta have your personal style. It's the same with the lights, you know? Like, if your style is different, you know, just use, like, sometimes I use big sound buses, sometimes I use uh, small flushes. It depends what the situation is and uh, what I wanna achieve on uh, that specific shot. It doesn't matter which light, uh, light you choose. You just make sure that uh, you can achieve uh, what uh, you have envisioned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check my uh, channel for other lighting tutorials and gear reviews. Happy shooting and I will see you next time.